Hi, I want to know if you make this big mistake. I know a lot of you don't even like selling, but at some point you have to sell to a client. But do you leave it to the very, very end of the conversation or the webinar or the on-stage presentation to do the sale? Because if you do, you're making a massive mistake. Think about how you buy. I'm very keen on trying to get you to think about these things. How do you buy? You buy, you've already prepared yourself for the buy. And if you haven't prepared yourself for the buy, your head is running through how you're going to afford the buy if you want the buy. Think about that. So when I was at BizFest with Amy and the speakers were on stage and you know that at some point they're going to do a buy offer, you're kind of sitting there trying to work out when the offer comes up, if you can afford it, where the money is, uh, the time scales, uh, the prep that's needed. Is this something that's really going to add to your business in our case? Um, in your case, it might be you're going to really change your clients' lives. All of those things were going through our minds as buyers. And yet we were being presented with the opportunity to buy right at the end of the presentation. This is almost too late. What I would suggest is a better place to put the first offer is much, much before that, maybe 10, 15 minutes before that, so that the buyer has the chance in their head while you're still talking or putting appropriate gaps and silences, depending on whether it's one-to-one -one or not, um, to prepare in their head how they're going to afford this, uh, whether they want to afford it, uh, to have an idea of what the price point is. Because then as you build and you add those values in, which you should be doing, by the way, um, you know, keep what you're offering initially at very, very basic and then just keep adding value and keep adding value, but call it free additional value. Um, that way it just seems more and more generous. As you're doing that, they're getting, they know what the original price was then and they're getting keener because hold on a minute, you've just added this, you've just added that. Oh my God, have you really just added that? I mean, Frank Kern did it to master level to be fair to him with all the ad values but he did it right at the end which still hadn't given us time to prepare whether we could afford it or not um eventually obviously we could jiggle money about move it from one bank account to another yeah it was there it was affordable problem with running several accounts so when you come to do your pitch if you like put it in a little bit earlier than you thought you would but then use that opportunity for the next 5, 10, 15 minutes to answer objections and also continue to add extra value to the original pitch so that it becomes this irresistible offer where the value of what you've added in for free is actually greater, greater than the original price and the original product. And that way you're almost bound to get a sale. I watched some masters do that at BizFest. And let's be honest, we spent 5,000 ourselves on three different things. Um, and it was just awesome in that sense, just to watch masters at work. So think about that. Think about how you present your sale, whether that's one-to-one, -one, webinar, um, on a stage, however it is that you're getting to your clients. And we'll speak to you soon. Bye.